deserved it. You can't rise in rebellion and expect a medal. God, what was coming? I'm grateful. Something bothering you, sir? Oof. Never bothers me. Would you kill a man to save ten? If I believe it to be true. Ten men to save a hundred. There would have been another river in the Punjab, a sixth river, a river of blood. 1857, all over again. Fear was the key. Wounded. Wounded? The relatives carried them away. Carry away how, sir? There was curfew. There was martial law. Shoot at sight orders. <laughs> people afraid to take people to hospital. Nonsense. Nonsense! When he stopped firing, that was the sign that it was good for them to go. Look at the fucker speak. Brutal, sir. It was sufficient. He was faced with a seditious mob. He created fear, and it was sufficient. That's the evil you're facing. Itna evil kisi aadmi mein kaise ho sakta hai? protest workers Which is what's happening now. <clears throat> Just to bring you up to date on the news from Europe, they are now at war with Germany. And they are all their own Hitlers. They are literally... The government has issued a call... Why don't you finish your flipping job, idiots? I'll catch your wages! No need. And What the hell are you doing? Disturbing everyone. But if you don't do anything, मैसेज पूरे वर्ल्ड तक जाए करेंगे क्या हम है क्या हमारे पास बम फोड़ेंगे हिंदुस्तान में जाके फोड़ेंगे बम गन है तुम्हारे पास गन है तुम्हारे पास तुम यहां से चले जाओ दम आई अंडरस्टैंड बोथ साइड्स वेरी होल हार्टेडली आई अंडरस्टैंड उदम आई अंडरस्टैंड एसएस जोहाल एंड सूरत अली लाइक देयर रीजंस फॉर व्हाई दे शुड ही शुड नॉट बी सो eager to like you know make a statement now where's Eileen in all this free speech open platform everybody's welcome in our discussions <laughs> free speech Gavin. grab the bomb कोई फायदा नहीं दूजे की आजादी छीन के कोई फायदा नहीं कल दूजा तुम्हारी छीनेगा कोई फायदा नहीं मदर मदर वो कहती थी नो नॉट अबाउट आजादी नो ब्रदर फ्री स्पीच ऑलवेज छीनो मत शेयर मिल बांट के यू मी मी यू मिल बांट के कुछ गलत पत्ता पत्ता बूटा बूटा हाल हमारा जाने गुल ही ना जाने बाग तो सारा जाने फिनिश व्हाट्स गोना हैपन नाउ That's how he got that. I think at that point he's had enough. Like he's just, if I don't make the change now, who will? Enough is enough. So 
get the lay of the land, understand. I know these in this disclaimer it says that it's been dramatized, you know. I get that, but there's a part of me that thinks that it's not that off because this is how they would have thought and not would have thought they did think this way. It's just the lens he's going to do this. Empire was and is. He's, he's setting off to die. He's ready to just die. Give up his life for the cause. By native Indians in favor of the accused. Accused to take stand. Please take oath. Your Lord. Is it seditious? No, it's Indian folklore, your lordship. A classical romance. Here, Randya. He has the right to take an oath on the book of his choice. Proceed. Madam Singh, do you plead guilty I plead or not? not guilty. Not guilty. Doyer, you are guilty. Your policies are guilty. I'll ask you one more time. Do you plead guilty? I protest it! Your British Empire is a trading company. Hai. <laughs> Former public servants, in front of hundreds of people, we have witnesses. But you're Overruled. Have you ever been arrested before? Objection, my lord. Relevant. Overruled. Have you been arrested before? There's no point. These idiots are not going to listen. The weapon has been seized, and he has admitted to the crime. Do not speak in this court unless you are asked. But to. your lordship, he has every right to be heard. Overruled. What's the point then? It's a The pointless, ridiculous trial. <laughs> Doesn't want to eat your shitty food. It's the last thing we need. Sir, we need to stop this hunger strike. Sir. Misha dosti regi? Huh? 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 Took him on. What happened that day? He was, he had enough. The jelly and wala bark. Arrest Gandhi. No one should enter Punjab until further order. Arrest all the college students, put them in a detention. Cut all the civilian telephone lines until further notice. Yeah, it's a Congress hearing, isn't it? Yes, sir. Who do you have in mind for the job? We have briefed Colonel Monago. I find him to be hesitant. Call for General Reginald Dyer. Evil, oh my God. Sir Michael O'Dwyer's on the line for you. Prepare the men. Yes, sir. You must act as you deem necessary. Thank you, sir. Revolution is a dangerous game. We cannot afford another mutiny. Sir, 
I want to set a precedent. Punishment of itself is not necessarily a deterrent. <laughs> Such that it creates a fear of punishment. That would be of great practical value. We need to set an example. Sir. Oh God, I hope. Good night. Uh, I'm actually scared for you in the afterlife, my man. You are, I'm sure, being absolutely skinned alive by God himself. कर्फ्यू लग गया मैं जा रहा हूं नहीं मैं नहीं आ रहा जल्द से मैं मैं कल सो रहा हूं I can see what the director is trying to do make this scene and the sound enhance to show the intentions of the British Dr Satpal aur Dr Kichlu ki giraftari ko hum jaari rakhenge is sangharsh ko hum jaari rakhenge sangharsh ko hum jaari rakhenge aage sangharsh utni Should we issue a warning, sir? Jat karo, Shri Guru ko bato. They've had their warning. Just a footnote in your history. छोटा सा कहीं लिखा होगा. But you weren't even there when the firing started. <laughs> so why? What? What did you see? I was late. और 
बहुत लोग हैं बाहर सारे बिखरे पड़े मैं जा रहा हूँ ले बच्चे पानी पी भाजी कुंडलित पे भाजी ठीक हो हार्ड लग रही Atrocities, not just in India, but everywhere around the world, should be taught in the UK because no one seems to know any of this. It's not their fault because they've not been educated about it. But we have to like incorporate this in the education system, make people aware. It's equally important, you know. Must you think he's like in some nightmare? So smart. छह घंटे हो गए पानी बंद कर रखा है खून बोझ में क्या बचेंगे नहीं डॉक्टर चाहिए सांस ले रही है, हाथ पैर भी हिल रहे हैं। दार्ची, दार। एक लिटिल कंफर्ट, यू नो। कॉश वेर इस रेशमा Curfew signal. <clears throat> so I've already watched <clears throat> Hacksaw Ridge, which the reaction will come out. But I don't see any difference from Private Dawson. Saving the wounded. I know he in that he's a doctor, but he's doing the same thing. He's saving lives. That the mother is taking my son. Mere saath uraega pata hai? Uraega na? He's setting the bone. Strength of my guru in him. I I can't. <laughs> the amount of sick bodies. It's. <laughs> I've been 
physically drained right now. I can't. Message from Sir Michael O'Dwyer, sir. I've been up all night. Haven't had any sleep. I did my duty. Served my country. Yes, God. Captain, is it quiet out there? Yes, sir. God don't even take care of it. I was <laughs> like, I'm to go to How are you? A couple of months have gone now. <laughs> you must ask for a pardon. You live. No. We don't need a pardon from the from your people. Even though you're not one of them, Eileen. Time. If I found a crowd. Supposing the passage was sufficient for the armored cars to go in, would you have fired with the machine gun? I think probably yes. And in that case, the casualties would have been much higher. Right now, I'm feeling a lot of anger and uh yeah it's it's not good like anger and real emotions the main thing is that this is something that everyone should learn in specifically in the united kingdom it's been far too long for the brits to not know what they have like what their ancestors have done and it is it is so so vital to realize the importance of how 
not just Indians, but Africans, Australians, or wherever they have colonized around the world. It's so important to know this. We know, we all have been taught in school about William the Conqueror, Alfred the Great. We get that. We know they were great in their own time. But do we know about the Jallianwala Bagh massacre? Do we know about what's happening in Congo? Do we know about what's happening in Palestine? Do we know about any of this? No, we don't. We need to be vocal about it. Like this shit is still happening. And we are so complicit. We are so silent in this. And it's just, it's, it's too much. Like, and th th these things, like this this evil it is not the entire british people no but the people that stay silent during this like why don't you speak up we need to cause more action like our words have such strong meaning and we cannot keep this to ourselves anymore we need to be more we need to be more educated about this me and my included i'm saying for this for myself as well and we can't just keep this under the radar, brush it off. Look at the massacre. It's so much flipping hell. And the way that they were talking, like they were doing their duty for the country. What? Like how can one be this evil? We need to teach the our generation and the future generation how important it is these people and the millions of lives that have been lost in the wars they are the ones they are the true heroes like i i'm sorry i don't care about what's happening with taylor swift i don't care about what's happening in glastonbury i don't care I am not saying that it is irrelevant, that if that's what brings you happiness, 100%, but there is some sort of like, you know, a little conscience that has to come out of us and say that we need to be better. We need to, we need to stand up and we need to make each other known. We are all one in the same. We are all brothers and sisters. We are all multiple skin colors whatever you are whatever sexuality you are we are all one in the same we just follow one thing we all want to love and we all want to be happy and you know flipping die in peace you know that's the one one of the many off topic one of the many reasons why i love coldplay specifically as a band because of how well chris martin because i went in hungary how well chris martin you know he he his speeches were just like you know doesn't matter where you come from what you believe in what your you know political opinions are it doesn't matter you all are here under one roof all singing one thing like you know about sharing love like that's the message we need to send and the way that he uh, Udham Singh was like the way he carried that many people I don't even know of course Reshma is dead but I don't even know if he got to see her body I don't even know if the story is real in that regard like that feeling that you know that this is not just maybe this was someone else's story, you know, like that went inside and tried to get as many people out and was trying to find his loved one or her loved one or whatever it is. It's it, how that, you know, that blood on the steps, children dying, children in pain, I'm sure shortage of medical supplies, morphine. Ugh. And to say you did it for the country at a peaceful protest when the martial law was not even put up place like they are lying like what liars you know i always believe in karma if anyone's know it whatever has gone like whatever goes around flipping comes back around and it will affect those who are complicit in every way i believe that in my whole heart and that guy that michael whatever Michael Dyer it's not for me to say that he deserves it he he will get what comes to him 
I believe that. And he, I'm sure he's dead by now, but whatever ha is happening, we don't know. But I truly believe he's not, he's, he's, he's being judged and he's being put to the test in the most brutal way possible. I believe that with all my heart, this kind of uprising where Udham Singh kills Daya is not provoked just because he woke up one day and felt the need to kill him. This is due to the actions of your, your, you know, work. You did this. That's why my actions are based off of what you do. I'm just, you have hit the ball against, across to my court. I'm hitting the ball back deuce that's it that's exactly what he done uh, he's done i'm sorry i just cannot <sighs> and the way he was tortured like that's the thing you know it's men it's not men i mean like human beings that come up with the most violent way possible you know to to come up with this torture look at that bengal famine four million people starving four million million Hell. those are so many families dead like it's almost like they wanted to wipe out an entire country because of this. That's why I'm like, everything, whatever goes around comes around. It will go back and forth. We have to mind the idols we preach. We have to make sure, you know, our conscience is clear. For me, I can speak for myself, but I will do my best to make sure no matter who I am, no matter what friends I make, who I am friends with in general, if they are not Indian, I'll make sure as much as possible in my own way, educate people if, when the topic arises, to speak about this, to speak about Bhagat Singh, to speak about all our revolutionaries who fought for our freedom, you know, specifically India, because I'm Indian and I will speak about India myself. I, uh, that was hard that was hard and um it was very much long it took a long time for me to watch it but i think i was in the state of mind now to really take a whole load because it is a heavy movie but it's so important to note and yeah um Sorry, I am rather, if, if anyone is triggered by what I said in the comment, like, in, by all means, go ahead. If you want to be triggered, fine, it's okay. That, but that's just how I feel. And uh, I hope you understand. And if I've offended anyone in the, <laughs> this is no, like, I'll just say this. This is no hate against any British person right now. Like, I love you guys so much. I, I live in the UK. I live in London. And I have lovely friends who have made it so home for me here in this country so i love it myself but um you know things like this when you see it when you see movies like this if you were in my shoes or any other indian's shoes you would understand where this kind of anger comes from it's been suppressed so much just because we want we are in a foreign country but we still have to remember that and we should not forget that so if i have uh, in any way i'm being very honest if i have any way offended anyone i'm so sorry i don't mean to but by all means you have your right to opinion so if you are offended that's great <laughs> it's, it's up to you babes but um let's let's just you know remember from here on let's be better let's be better for our future generation and let's just it's very it's a hard it's a such an easy thing to say but such a hard ask and uh let's just all like live in harmony i guess but yeah i'm hopeful in the future it will happen one day but until then thanks so much for joining please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and let me know down in the comments what else i should be watching next but until then i'll see you in the next one